a topic many people can relate to, well, about 40 million, according to the Anxiety and Depression Association of America, suffer from or know someone who has social anxiety. Since I am one who often experiences that, I found some ways that I have been able to manage it quite well, actually. Because if I look at myself even two years ago, I get out of the house a lot more now and am able to get through difficult situations I probably could not have before. Tip number one, maybe decide how worth working on this issue is to you. What is it preventing you from doing? For me, it was going in situations that could have been very enjoyable. I could have met new people or I might miss out on certain opportunities. Plus, sometimes, sometimes if we're preventing that, it causes even more discord in ourselves. Number two, observe. Try a situation where it's fairly safe, but yet you do encounter yourself feeling anxiety. Let's say a, a big grocery store on a on a about four or five o'clock in the afternoon, and people get in, are getting off of work. Experiencing just trying like a few minutes of that. In the, in the middle of the store or wherever there's a, a, large, a large gathering or many people is to see what is going on physically. So uh, heart sometimes would beat fast or you would experience, some people experience sweating, some people dizziness or the overwhelming, just anything that's intense and overwhelming. And, and uh, some people report them kind of, out of body or not being able to uh, cognitively put things together. It's a kind of a confusion. So whatever it is, good thing to kind of observe that and maybe make a list. Even if it's in your head and letting yourself know, I'm feeling this right now. I'm feeling sweating. I'm feeling, I'm feeling flushed, et cetera, et cetera. Number three just a little comfort zone going out, just a little bit going out of the comfort zone, but there is an option to not have to overdo it, especially at first. Maybe just challenge yourself. I'll be, I'll go to the park on a busy day, maybe 10 minutes. And then again, observe. And also you might notice yourself calming down as you're identifying what's going on in your body. And something that also might help is just really taking a good look around. Once we figure out that people aren't really looking at us and we're not the center, that sometimes helps. The other thing is, let's say you're going to a party. If you had a job to do or a, a focus of where to go, it that seems to uh, decrease some anxiety. So let's say... You're walking through the door and you're thinking, okay, I'm going to get to the food table. Just saying hi, hi on the way. Um, for me, when I start walking into a situation where there's a lot of people, let's say it's a restaurant and there's a table with a, a, lot, of, a lot of our friends or, or uh, a party, then I feel like a huge whoosh and almost like I'm paralyzed that I cannot move any, any, any steps and it's, uh, it's almost like my body becomes cement. And to me, it looks like the uh, outer is deer in headlights, pretty much like, like that. <laughs> and the, uh, what's going on in my mind is that I'm observing this. Okay, I see this and I'm feeling that. And then if you, uh, if you can, what, what I... Recently, when I was in a situation, I just looked out the window. I stayed in the foyer, and I looked out the window, and I said to myself, uh, I told myself what all I saw was a tree, what did it look like, I see a car, getting out of my head. Uh, one thing I found that when there's a lot of noise or a lot of sensory, uh, I get more anxiety, so I brought my uh, little ear earbuds just enough to deaden it a bit, 
so that also toned things down. And then I eased myself in. Okay, I, I'm going to get this far in. And then I took a few more steps. And before you know it, I was sitting and eating and enjoying everybody's company. So not all is lost. And there is even a lot more tips than this. So maybe do some research and try some things. Because it really is worth it. Believe me. And another thing to keep in mind is sometimes it's just impossible. It feels impossible to push yourself. And that's okay too. Remember, the little goals you have are the best because those are actually more attainable. If you're looking at a huge snowball, uh, a, a, a boulder, if you're looking at a huge boulder, it's, um, it's too overwhelming. So think of it as little pebbles to, to just do one obstacle, go through that and the other. And then you can look back like I did and said, wow. Wow, look at the difference. Look at the difference. And sometimes I still need, I, it's very important to have your, your center, your home frequency within, where if you're feeling, uh, for me, I'd feel displaced. I feel like I'm, I'm not connected with myself. Then I know that it's time for me. My recharging is being alone in the quiet and not having any electronics or anything. So if you find that too, that also helps. And you can also go there in your mind whenever, whenever need be. And sometimes it's just leaving the situation. It's, that's the right thing to do. So maybe give some things a shot and let me know if anything uh, has worked for you.